Imagine a city so overwhelmed by stench that its government is forced to act. This was London in the summer of 1858, a period now infamously known as the Great Stink. The River Thames, flowing through the heart of the city, had become an open sewer, brimming with human waste and industrial effluence. With the advent of hot weather, the river's noxious fumes became unbearable. The smell was so overpowering that it disrupted parliamentary sessions, prompting lawmakers to soak their curtains in chloride of lime to mask the odor. The crisis reached a tipping point, compelling authorities to address the dire sanitation problem. Enter Joseph Bazalgette, a civil engineer who proposed an ambitious solution, the construction of an extensive sewer network. Bazalgette's plan involved laying nearly 1,300 miles of sewers, which would divert waste away from the Thames to treatment facilities downstream. This engineering marvel not only alleviated the immediate public health crisis, but also laid the groundwork for modern urban sanitation systems. The Great Stink of 1858 serves as a pivotal moment in public health and urban planning history, highlighting the critical need for effective waste management in burgeoning cities. Londoners' misery ultimately led to a transformative change that saved countless lives and reshaped the city for the better.